You know, I think back to that Buffalo game where we got blown out and kind of embarrassed on national TV. And I'm um, not saying you guys nothing like that, but a lot of people kind of counted us out and saying that, you know, what's going on with the Titans, boom, boom, boom. And I spoke to you guys in the locker room. And I said, man, you know, our culture is based upon what happens when adversity hit. We hit adversity, obviously, early year going on too. But three straight wins, man, regardless of how they come, uh, it's always great to win this league because it's going to be hard. You know, it's, we're always going to be in dog fights, one possession games. So proud of our defense. Big money, David Long, making plays. But like you said, man, there's obviously some things we got to correct. But at the end of the day, man, winning this league is very hard. So, and one thing that I'm super proud about this group is that we have no quit. You know, guys are going to fight to the end, and that's something that we can always build upon, obviously, with other things we got to correct. What's it say that you guys are winning with those guys? They're going to keep fighting. Nobody's going to give up. Nobody's going to go on the sideline panicking, cussing at each other, and imploding, I would say. So, like I said, it's just, it's just what we believe in. Obviously, those things are going to catch up to us. But the fact we were able to stack those wins early in the year is going to be big for us heading down the stretch. Where does that resolve come from? When did you realize that David had come up with an interception? Well, I was covering my man on my side, and I kind of was like turning towards inside. I just heard the crowd go live, and I honestly, I thought they scored at first. But then I seen David jump up, and I'm yelling, get down, get down. And then I thought he was about to crib it. Um, but it was electric, man. You know, I feel like at least once or twice a year, we get one of those epic wins, right? If it's last year in Buffalo. A couple years ago, 2019, you're talking about the San, I mean, Los Angeles game. Uh, like I said, just our culture, the way we're going to keep fighting to the end. That resolve that you mentioned in adversity, like where does that bounce back come Well, it starts from top down. You know, it starts from Vrabel, you know, and what he believes in in his culture. And then, obviously, from the leaders and everyone, everybody else because, you know, culture, like I said, it has to start from top down. And so when we get new guys and new pieces here and there, guys immediately buy in. So I just think that, you know, just the experience of understanding that we've been in these games so many times, that, you know, plays early in the game, you know what I'm saying? Hey, they make a couple plays, but so what? We're going to keep fighting, keep fighting, and that's what we did today. After the Bills game, you and Derek, you guys spoke for you know, a long time. Yeah. Locker. Is this kind of what you guys were planning, or like, is this it, it being called? I mean, definitely. I mean, if we're going to roll it up any better, three straight wins. I mean, honestly, we actually held like a, a players only meeting. Uh, I don't know if that was the Tuesday or Wednesday. Whatever day we came back, it might have been the Wednesday. Um, talking to the guys, saying that, hey, man, it's early, we're not going to panic, but we have to get this thing, you know, fixed. And uh, it obviously worked. Have you guys ever had to do something like that? I think we did maybe a few years ago. I don't remember what year it was, but I remember when Dean Pease was here, we had a defense only meeting. But this time it was a team only meeting with all players, no coaches, and, uh, you know, just discussing things that we felt like we needed to address. Last snap, no matter if it's with blade of grass, they play, they play their tails off on every play, and that's how they, they've been all year. And, you got to give those guys credit. They fought no matter what. When the back's against the wall, they made plays for us. This team started 0-2, now won three in a row going to the bye week. How good do you feel about the direction things are going now? How much do you need to break? Yeah, um, every win in this league is special. And just find a way to win, that's what we've been doing. They're not always, They don't have to be pretty in this league because everybody's just looking at a win or loss in the column when you get down to January. So right now we just take every win in this place and just keep stacking them. Winning's contagious. Did this one kind of turn into a, a slugfest? I mean, it seemed pretty physical battle. I know you knew that was probably what you expected. Yeah, um, that's what you want. Um, you want to get out of run the ball. Um, you want to protect. Um, but you know they have a good front. They have a lot of good players on that team. You got to give them credit. Um, um, you just got to come out every play and you got to protect Tanny at all costs. And, Run the ball when it's called. It's been, it's been a while since you guys have scored in the second half. How big was the response when they took the lead to have that drive? Yeah, um, it starts with not making um, penalties and stuff like that. That hurts us on drives in the second half. Um, he's got to be better on that and getting the first first down. And when we do that, we execute it. And Tanny made a play, him and Westbrook made a play, and got us going. Yeah, if, if you're scoring touchdowns in the red zone, um, you put yourself in contention to win games, and our defense does a great job stopping down there. So we feed off of each other, and if we get touchdowns, you win games that way. And find a way for us to come together, band together, or find a way to get the win. Um, yeah, I mean, like, we always have to run the ball every single game because that's part of our team keys that we're going to run the ball, we're going to have a great QBR, and we're going to be able to play as a unit with speed, effort, and finish. So those are the team keys that we do. That's how we play every single game.
Um, yeah, I mean, like it shows that we're a gritty team. It shows that all the work that we did during the off season is showing that we can find ways to win games in the fourth quarter, however it may be. You know, we always know that that's something that we always try to emphasize: is finding ways, finding ways to win the games in the fourth quarter and being gritty and being tough throughout the game. And it's good going into our bye week, going on to our next game. Do you think it'd be in first place after you lose those first two games? Do you think it'd be in first place three weeks later? Um, I, I really don't even pay attention now. That's the really. Um, I'm just trying to help the team win no matter what. So I really I ain't really focus on that really. When you got momentum going like that, then would you rather come back and play next week, or do y'all need to get healed up? Uh, I feel like yeah, we need to get a little healed up, enjoy our little time off and everything. But I feel like it was great. We and our our last game on a good dub before the um, bye week and everything. Everybody banged up, so I feel like our guys will come back fully and ready for the next week. Though. In that situation, when I seen that happen, like that, he always executed his, his um, breaks and coverage and everything. So I feel like we practiced that a lot at practice, and he just executed just like we do at practice. So it was great when I seen that happen. Defense, how you believe you feel? You guys did a good job on first down. You gave up some plays, but mm -hmm. you won overall. I mean, how did that in the bye week feel? I mean, overall, it's defense. I mean, we're, a little, we're starting off a little, a little rough and everything, but I feel like at the end, we finished it off good. That's all about just finishing off. I feel like everybody was going on to the next play, had that same mindset. It was all on the same page.